Welcome to another video with Mr. Long. In, in today's lesson, we're looking at Microsoft Word or a word processor. And we are thinking of the scenario where you have a document that's going to be used by multiple people. And you want to keep track of the changes that everyone makes. And so you can monitor what everyone's done, what, what did they say they wanted to change. And then you can decide on what changes to accept and which ones to reject. So yeah, I've got a document that I've created about some motivation and I want to send it to some people to be edited and to give me feedback and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to come over here to a place where it says review and if I click on review, the review tab, you'll see this option over here, the tracking options. This is where I want to look at today. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put track changes on. The moment it's not on, so if I click on it, I can set it for everyone or for just for my changes or I can lock the tracking so that if I'd lock the tracking, that means I can put a password on it so that people can't unlock it. In other words, they can't make it so that you can't see their changes. So I'm going to make it for everyone. So now what happens now is if I make a change to a any part of the document, let's say I change that word, I want to delete it then it will actually tell me that there was a change that happened over there. We can explain the details about how all these other options work now, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send this document to someone else so that they can make some changes for me. So let's go undo that change. I don't want to, I want to undo that change. Let's send it to someone else and let them do some changes for us. And then we can see what they did. So now I've got that document back. I sent it to my old computer teacher when I was at school, Mr. Gibson. He's a very good friend of mine and I've sent him the document and he's made some changes for me. So let's go look at what changes were made. So first of all, when we've got it in track changes, you've got the different types of markup over here. Now simple markup just means that there's little red lines on the side here, which will tell you where there are changes that have been made. You can't really see what the changes are, but they are there. So if I scroll down, you'll see there've been multiple changes made at different points in this document. Now, if I change it to all markup, then I can actually see what the changes were. So over here, we can actually see there's still a line there, but you can see that that's what the change that was made. Um, that word was put in there. So you can actually physically see the changes. And if there are any changes to like the styles or any comments, that, that will be in this little margin on the side here. And then you get the other option, which is no markup, which means what it would look like without those lines and that there. So we, with all the latest changes that are there, we can see what it looks like. And if we want to go back to the original, then you can go back to the original document and you can see these were all the things that were there before we set track changes on. So if you go to all markup there, we can see it. You can also double click on these lines to toggle between simple markup and all markup. So you can do that. So we can actually see these changes over here. And so there we go. There's some changes that Mr. Gibson has made. If I click on them, you can see Mr. Gibson, he made that change. You can see the date that he made the change and what he did. So that's really nice. Another nice tool is over here by reviewing pane. You can actually have a review pane. I like to keep it on the vertical side, which means on the side over here, up and down. And if I click on there, you can actually go and click on the different changes. So you can go directly to those particular changes and see what they are. Ah, oh, that's what he did and so on. So there's all the changes that Mr. Gibson has made to my document. So if I want to make other changes, then I can also go and put in this handle what is still to come. Um, and I'm going to put in the word, let's say I'm going to put in the word today there. Do you see that mine's in blue now? So it tries to use different colors for different people so that we can see the difference. And by doing that, if I just click on, the, if I move up a little bit, then you'll see that I have now put in my changes. So you can see the different names here for lots of people that make different changes and so on. So there we go. So those are all the changes that have been made. I'm going to make a couple more quickly. So as you can see, I've made a couple of changes to some of the text. And if you scroll down, there's the change I made originally. And there's another one over there. So you can see mine are in blue and Mr. Gibson's are in red. And you can see all the details over here. Another feature over here is which, what details do you want to actually see? So you can actually click over here to say, I want to see just the insertions and the deletions or just the formatting or take away the formatting to just see the insertions and the deletions if you want. Um, you can also say which balloons you want to see if you want to see all the revisions in balloons and then they'll appear on the side over here as well. So you can do that if you want. So let's 
take it back in the in the formatting balloons only. Um, and then so there we go. And you can see this the the changes by specific people. So if you want to see only my changes, then we can say take all reviewers off, and we just want to see the changes that I made. So specific people, let's make my one. So now we can just see the ones that I did. So you've got all those lovely features that you've got. So let's go change it to everyone quickly. So there we go. So there we go. And you can do other things like you can actually right click on a particular area or click on an area and you can insert a comment. I think if you right click there will be an option to add a comment. There you can add a new comment or you can click on there and we can add a comment. And we're going to say, I'm going to, this little message, I'm going to say show revisions in line so that it's over here. And I'm going to say, okay, start uh, a double check, double check this please so this comments are normally you're not making changes but you want to comment on some of the information that's in the document so you can actually do that okay so there we go okay got it so there we go so there's my little comment so there we go so i've added a comment please double check that and someone can click on this and reply to the comment so they can do that and there are other options for example they can delete it so people can reply to it and so on so mr gibson if i send this to you you can just give me your details of what you think about that comment so there we go so there's all the little details that we've got in our document I'm going to come back here and let's set to, we want to show for all, all revisions in balloons, not in balloons, in the format in the balloons. So I can see it on the side there. So there we go. So now, now that we've seen the changes, now how do we accept the changes or say, yes, we want that change or no, we don't want that change. Well, on this side over here is where we've got our changes and you can accept a change. Let's see the options available. You can accept and move to the next. You can accept this change. You can accept all changes. But I would be very careful of that because always double check that all those changes are the ones you want before you accept all of them. And the same with that one with the red cross. That means you're going to reject the changes. So if I click on this one, you can say reject and move to the next and so on. Or you can just simply come to this part and go, okay, that one we want to accept. So I can right click on it and accept that format change. I can right click and go accept that deletion and so on and then accept that insertion. And slowly but surely you start accepting those changes to your document and so they become part of the original almost so there we go so those are the types of things that you can do now let's try something let's go to the show markup we only want to see mr gibson's stuff so let's go take all reviews off and we only want to see mr gibson's changes so there's mr gibson's changes and then i'm going to come here to go accept all changes and see what it does if i accept all changes if i come here to see specific people and i go all reviews do you notice that my comments are still there. My comments are still there. So I accepted everything, even though I just had Mr. Gibson's details here. It accepted every single change in the document. So at least the comments are still there, but every single change is done. So be careful. If you say accept all uh, changes, it will do even the ones that you aren't busy, busy viewing if you are only viewing a specific person's changes. So let's go and we can double check. You can see there's my little comment and so on. So there's no more changes done. We've accepted all of them. That's great. Now I can move on to the next document. If I want to, I can now switch it off. Um, but just a reminder, if you want to lock it, maybe you don't want, so you think someone might undo the track changes and make edits without you knowing, then you can just click on lock tracking. Discard, just discard the comment for now, but we, when we lock it, we, there we go. You can insert a password and then you double check, you re-enter it so that you knows that it's the correct password. So you can do that if you want to make sure that they can't um, undo the track changes and make changes without you knowing. So there we go. So that's a little brief demonstration of track changes and what you can do. So the idea is go to track changes. You can view the different markups, accept or reject the changes you don't want, and then you're done. For more videos on Microsoft Word as well as other Microsoft Office packages, go to our YouTube channel, click on the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, and go to our playlist where you'll see more topics there. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.